So we're out on the My Legacy campaign. This week we're out featuring all the community champions in our great state of Queensland that are doing things to be able to change the health outcomes of them, um, of themselves and their families. And we've started here with Obese, uh, an amazing group of men here out in Logan. So we've got some guys here who pretty much drive the, the, um, the process. Um, hey guys, do you want to introduce yourselves? Hey, uh, James Fionati. Uh, Elijah Tallow. Dominic Fionati. Yeah, and where about are you from? Uh, from here at Mazda, but originally from Wellington, New Zealand. Yeah. And uh, your nationality? Yeah, I'm Samoan. Yeah. Samoan. Yeah, Samoan. I'm uh, originally from Wellington. Cool. Um, now, the My Legacy campaign is all about um, how chronic disease, like about raising awareness on chronic diseases like diabetes, obesity, heart disease. Um, has that affected you or your family in any way? Oh, yeah, it has. Oh, Elijah's got a bit of a background day with you before you started your training. Oh, yeah, uh, before I started training, I was weighing at 200 months. Um, had uh, type 2 diabetes, my heart rate, uh, uh, blood pressure, I was on blood pressure pills. Uh, my first month with a beast, it was um, 179, my heart rate. So after one month, it came down to 130. So um, my type 2 diabetes has t had a major turnaround due to uh, um, a new way of living and changing the way I eat um, and turning up to training every day with uh, my brothers here. So I um, mean, it's been great. That's new. That's awesome. Um, and so what are you doing, like what are you guys doing now in terms of changing that, um, like what legacy are you leaving for yourselves and for your children? I think, uh, yeah, we're just trying to, um, I think the training is, you know, everyone tends to train, train well. A lot of Pacific Islanders, they, they train well, but the battle is in the kitchen. So even though we're getting fitter outdoors, it's what we feed ourselves in the house. And then if you're eating wrong, it's just going to filter through to the kids. So for us, we've got young, we got young kids, we're young families. We just want to start with ourselves, eating right, feeding the kids the right things. And hopefully that's enough for them to just um, feed to their kids when they're older as well. And that's the legacy we're trying to leave, just good habits at a young age. It's never too late to start. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. And um, is there any last words that you want to uh, shout out to anyone out there that to encourage them in terms of making a change for the better? Oh, just like any family and friends out there. If you know you've got some family, like big boys, or just anyone that's probably not eating well and unhealthy, you know, it's never too late to train. We've got our group here, obese. We're open to anyone, big boys, you know, even young guys who are in trouble and stuff. It's more like a brotherhood when they come here, so that's the main thing I think our group's got. It's just that brotherhood feel, which makes a lot of the boys come back. It's not mainly just training, but just uh, fellowshipping with the boys. And just trying to keep God in the centre of our training. That's mean, yeah. That's mean, yeah. Just, a, just another one for the, for the big guys. I know it's hard for you guys. I've experienced the same thing. Um, I always used excuses of, I um, always had pain in my knees and I was too overweight and I can't train. But um, I realised, you know, I had a lot of pain when I wasn't training. So it's either either way, I have the pain and I train and strengthen my muscles around my knee area. So um, it's been good. So I've never looked back, and um, a lot of it's in um, support of um, our, our, our spouses. They're the major backbone of what we're doing today. Um, always prepping our meals and making sure that. Um, a lot of us do a lot of overnight work, so meal prep is important and yeah, I like to thank our, our wives for, for you know, the big support that they play in our families as well. Awesome. And if there's anyone out there who wants to get involved in Logan, how do they get involved in Obese? Yep, so we've got a um, public page on Facebook, Obese Training. If you just search that up, you'll find us on there. Or even if you're friends of any of us, you'll get a link to our page. We also have a, a secret page as well where the boys just post up their meals and yeah. You know, try and encourage each other how to eat um, healthy and just get some fresh ideas and just post up our trainings as well. So yeah, just jump on Facebook, you'll find us on there when our trainings are. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. God bless. Love your work. Bless.